What's going on, family? Scrapbook Boxing. Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff Series. Let's continue examining 100 years of world championship fights. 1948, February 27th. Ike Williams defeats Kid Gavilon and defeats him. March 23rd, Whitney Monahan knocks out Jack Patterson. April 26th, Kid Gavilon defeats Tommy Bell. March 12th, Marcel Sedan knocks out Laverne Roach. Hits him so hard, Laverne Roach would never recover. He would die in a hospital. May 25th, 1948, Ike Williams defeats Enrique Bolanos. Now, the man you're looking at is Enrico Bolanos. Phenomenal Mexican fighter. Fought out of the West Coast. Enrique Bolanos. I have in my top 20 greatest Mexican fighters. He was a phenomenal fighter. Very underrated. Enrique Bolanos. Had three fights with Ike Williams. I believe Enrique Bolanos defeated Ike Williams in one of their fights. There was a lot of controversy. See, Ike Williams... was affiliated with the mob. Philadelphia mob crime family. And there was a lot of funny business going on in that Bolanos fight. Bolanos was a stand-up individual. As honest as can be. And I just wanted to give you that little tribute on Enrique Bolanos. Phenomenal fighter he was. Very underrated. Salute to Enrique Bolanos. part of my collection, The Knockout, from the program from the West Coast, Olympic Auditorium. This one features Enrique Bolanos. This man needs more credit than what he's been given. So June 10th, 1948, Rocky Graziano was knocked out by Tony Zell as referee Paul Cavalier. Counts him out one minute and eight seconds in the third round. It's at the Rupert Stadium, Newark, New Jersey. For the World Middleweight Championship crown. 21,497 spectators. Would not be disappointed. June 9th, 1948. It's an original date. They got rained out. And it worked out for the fans. Because these two men would give it everything they had. Unbelievable fight. Unbelievable night. Phenomenal. Now, Tony Zell stood five foot seven and a half inches. He weighed 159 pounds. He was a middleweight. Had a 69 inch reach. Had a record of 67 wins, 17 losses, and two knockouts. 
knockouts, or two draws, I should say. Had over 40 knockouts. He was a very strong puncher, was Tony Zale. Graziano stood five foot seven inches, weighed 159 pounds. He was a middleweight. Had a 68 and a half inch reach. He had 47 wins, eight losses, five draws. Now, Zale would earn $60,000. Graziano, who was the champion at that time, earned $120,000, double the purse. The fans invested $335,646. And the radio listeners invested $45,000. You hear these magnificent contests. $25,000 was gross. And movie rights. No television was allowed to show this contest. Because they anticipated a Hagler Hearns performance. Because these two men had exchanged titles before, 46 and 47. Matter of fact, let's just take a look at this fight. Tony Zale, Rocky Graziano, June 10th, 1948. Rocky Graziano, world's middleweight champion, meets Tony Zale, the former champion, in a 15-rounder for the title. This is the third meeting. Two years before, when Zale was middleweight champion, Graziano made his first bid for the title. Zale knocked him out in six rounds. In a return match a year later, Rocky knocked Zale out and won the title. Now Zale gets another shot at his former crown. Incidentally, no judges in New Jersey. The decision is all up to the referee. From Gary, Indiana, wearing purple front, the outstanding challenger for the middleweight title, Tony Sale. And his opponent, from Brooklyn, New York, wearing black front, the middleweight champion of the world, on his trunks. Piano's timing is a way off. 